YouTubers, Hot HR1 here. So I am back. I haven't filmed a video since Sunday. Um, and I am very, 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 very excited to do this video for the simple fact that it is February favorites. And for some reason, I love doing these videos because throughout, like, um, I actually just started in January because I wanted to do, like, favorites videos, um, like, starting 2012. So um, basically, if you aren't familiar with what uh, favorites videos are, is throughout the months you go through different stuff and if you like it and it's like your favorite of that month you basically you know show it on YouTube and at the end of like you can either do it like whenever you want but I uh, mostly you do it at the end of the month you show all your favorites and so I waited and it's this is like a very special February favorites for the simple fact that it's leap year leap day so happy leap day to everybody and I won't be doing this video for at least I think four more years or something like that because it's like the 29th so I thought that was super kind of like cool to do that so I'm just go ahead and um, I'm gonna dive into this because it's kind of like a lot of stuff well not too too much but um, also I still don't know how I I mean I love this lighting and for some reason my camera focuses the webcam focuses so much more over here but I'm trying to see like the lighting wise if the back, the dining room light table is better off with the office light on. I don't know. And like, just to show you guys to see what I'm talking about, this is what the light looks like. Hold on one second. All right. So that's what the light looks like. It's just this little dinky tiny one. And then the dining room light is up there, right there. So let me just see. I know I do before a video I do like check my lighting and stuff like that but I'm not sure that I like it that much so let me just see I had this figured out Sunday where it gave me more of a tannish look but it just didn't go so well so you know what I think I'm gonna keep the background lighting off I don't know I'm so confused on my lighting it's just never right I'm just gonna leave it on and let it be let's see let me just like see if it still focuses yep still focuses all right so one thing I do want to say my nails are kind of different I still have the tippy things on um I'm I like the fact that I don't I can't pick out my fingernails and they have grown because some of them have like uh, broken off but they're these kind of nails are just a little bit too long for me and it's still taking me a while to do my daily tasks it kind of just slows me down but um, I painted them the color flirt and it's a burgundy kind of color it's not black it looks black but if you can see um, there's like hints of purple and stuff like that so yeah they're just painted that color and yeah so let's go ahead and jump right into the video <sighs> this is January favorites and I have a whole list here because um when I was doing like when I started this favorites video I'm like uh oh this is not gonna be good because I'm just gonna be showing you guys my same favorites as January but it's crazy how much I've gotten since January and I actually have like different things to show so this is like my little category list that helps me like you know go off of things so I'm just going to go ahead and start with beauty products and stuff like that so I actually have everything laid out over there like that. All right, so the first beauty I'm gonna get into is makeup this is a little bit too high there we go alright so the first thing I'm gonna get into is makeup and this is from the Lancome. I did feature this in a haul video if you guys want to watch that. I don't even know. I think, I don't even know when that haul was. But um, it just looks like this. It's in a black. It's actually very big. It's the blush, I should say. And it's the in the color A Plum. A Plum, however you want to say that. You can't really see that. My camera is, the webcam is really weird because it focuses on some things. And on some things it makes it look so blurry. So, the way that this opens, and I never can get it, is you push it in and it opens. So that's, well, hello, that fell out. So that's what it looks like. It's kind of dusty, and then as you can see, that's where I film. It's my little webcam up there, but um, it looks like this color. It's a really, really pretty color. I love it so much for a few reasons. One is I've had like different kind of blushes but they all turn my face um like the pigment and stuff like that turns my face an orange color and um I don't really think I like my face to look like an orange color but this is actually more in the pink tones and it 
it just it's a really really pretty color you can't really you can kind of tell actually but um with this lighting you can't that much but it just looks like this it's so pretty it looks a little bit more darker on f camera there you go that's what it looks like give it a minute to focus well it's not gonna focus because it's just dumb like that but um yeah so let's see I just like completely messed up my face Okay, I probably just like messed up my face and just brought out all those pimples there that I have there. That's embarrassing. Um, obviously, I can't put on blush with my fingers, right, Liam? It comes with this brush. There we go. Creepy, creepy smile there. Alright, so it just leaves off this really pretty pinky color. And I probably would do this much better, but I'm just kind of like wanted to show you guys. So that is the first thing. And then the next thing is, oh my gosh, I love this mascara. It's the Hypnos Doll Lashes. I knew, I knew when I featured this in a haul video and when I first got it, this would be a February favorite. Some of the things, like even in the beginning of the month when I got like some of these things, I'm like, oh, that's a February favorite. Oh, yeah. So, um... This is the Lancome Again Hypnose Doll Lashes Mascara. It's much thicker and it looks like this. And the Hypnose Doll Lashes thing is right there except you can barely see it. The wand is much, much thicker. I love that so much because my eyelashes, if you can kind of see, they're a little bit, um, they're like kind of long and kind of like um, thick or whatever. So I find that these kinds work much better and it just looks like this and it's in the color black but it's um, yeah just in the color black and it is for the wide look wide eye look should I say the next kind of beauty thing well it's actually lips and I got this when I went on a trip I almost just said where I went that's embarrassing well, no, it's not embarrassing, but um, when I was in vacation, should I say in the past like week or so, I we went to CVS and I needed some chapstick. Um, I don't know what happened to my other chapstick I had, but that's okay. And at CVS, they had this like on the checkout and stuff like that, and it's, um, oh wait, I have to totally go get it. I forgot. It came in this little package. I was gonna show you guys this and I completely forgot because I put it in a drawer where I would, you know, not remember, obviously. Um, so it just comes in this little package thingy if I can get it properly working. No, I can't. Okay, there we go. So, dido, dido, dido. Two hours later. Um, it looks like this. It's Blistex and it's the five star lip protection. And it was for dryness, cold, heat, wind, and sun. When I saw that, I'm like, oh my gosh, I totally have to get this because it works for all the different kinds of seasons and it just helps come tremendously. And it's lip protection. Um, it's sunscreen. Um, it helps with pretty much everything. And it's just really awesome. It was in the $2 range. I think it was under $3, higher than $2 and like 15 cents. I feel like it was like $2.49 or something like that. But you know what? Hey, you get like multiple, per I dropped it, multiple protection for your lips. And it also has SPF 30. So not 15, but 30. And um, it's really pretty actually. Like the color, it's gold. And it looks like this. And it is. Oh my gosh, the consistency and the moisture gets, or the, um, when you put it on your lips, the moisture is awesome for your lips. It's the right amount to have, and it's so moisturizing on your lips. I feel it works perfectly, and it's just awesome. It's soft, and, I don't know if it's a mine right now. It smells delicious. Delicious, like it just. Mm, I wish you guys could smell. It's like, are you guys gonna smell that? Like if you did. Um, but it just smells oh so good. It's perfect, knowing that it works, and I just love it so much. So that's definitely a favorite that I've been using. And I mean, it's. I just got it like about a week ago. Week ago. So this is like makeup, I guess I would consider this. So those were just three. Um, the next little random thing is like. Um, a body, certain like type of body wash that I've been loving, and it's the 
Um, this has also been purchased when we went on our trip at CVS. It's the Aveeno Active Naturals Daily Moisturizing Body Wash. It helps replenish skin's natural moisture and for visibly healthier skin. For um, It's also, this is one of the things that I love about it. It's dermatologist recommended. So that is like completely awesome. This actually focuses really good. It's in a really cute little bottle. And it just looks like this. It's oatmeal. Nourishing oatmeal. Um, it smells really good. It's got kind of like a strong smell to it. Like it doesn't really smell like oatmeal that much, but it, it smells really good. It's just a bit strong, but it smells good. And um, one thing I do want to say, it works awesome. Like for normal body washes, I feel like I don't really feel a difference in my skin. But um, as I was like going like this to put it like on my skin, I was like, wow or like in the shower because you this isn't lotion this is body wash but i was like oh my gosh my skin feels so soft and there is like a definitely i can like feel the difference um and it makes your skin so soft so i would definitely go out and pick this up because you will you will feel a difference um the next thing i'm kind of going around like face and like stuff like that i well, I feel like I say these are my favorites, but technically they are because it's in a February favorite video. But um, this is another one of my favorites that I've been loving. And it's the Clean and Clear Facial Cleansing Wipes. Oh my goodness. Um, the only thing I do want to say about these, they're a little bit pricey. And they're like in the $5 range if you go to Walmart. Um, but the reason why they're almost like six dollars is because they're the clean and clear brand they're not just like your average like walmart brand or name um kroger brand they're your name brand so i think that that's got it, how i got it right this is for makeup dissolving it's oil free that's awesome because i have oily skin um it's instantly dissolves dirt oil and makeup even waterproof mascara and it's johnson johnson they give you 25 wipes and Oh my gosh, can I just say, it, it does work. It does work. Like this Aveeno stuff, this stuff, yeah, it actually does work. When you put it like one wipe, and I swear your eyeshadow's gone, and your mascara's gone, it just feels awesome, it's soft on your skin, it's not too rough, and as you can see, it's flat, which means I am running on low. I need to definitely get me some more at Walmart, and it just comes in this little wipe. You guys know what I'm talking about, and it's so soft, and it's just, it works amazingly. So, yeah, this is something definitely I would go pick up at, you know, Walmart. Um, if I squish it back in there. So, yeah, that is another face thing that I've been loving, which I need to go get. And I, I do go to Walmart. I probably will feature this in another Walmart haul. Um, the next thing has to do with nails. With another thing with these, like, um, white tips, you might see it looks perfectly, like, the line looks easily, or not easily, but the line looks, um, smooth and everything looks, like, all peachy and handy dandy. It's not. The, when you put nail polish on these things, it just does not go on right. It doesn't stay. It smudges. It smears. It just sticks to everything it comes off so with these nails these fake nails the nail polish does not go on that well but it's it's okay so I don't know I'm kind of on the fence with these things but one nail polish I have been loving is this and it's Sally Henson hard as nails extreme wear I have featured this in a haul and on my nails give it a minute to focus it looks really the color looks really why is it not focusing come on really there we go the color is looks awesome it's like a lime olive green color um let me see if you can see it no you can't but it's a lime olive green color and i have had this on my nails if you watch my church inspired haul you will see that um it's on my nails it's so pretty and it gets me ready for the springtime and all the spring colors that are coming out soon or all the like the springtime colors and stuff like that so it's just awesome and it's in the color green with envy i think that's cute number 110 the next thing is this nail polish and um it's from the equate i think i got this at either kroger or walmart um it has non-acetone in it which i like that a lot it's um 
protein enriched for artificial and natural nails looks like this this works really great as well as all the others for the simple fact that like one rub and it completely wipes off like it's just it's awesome so it just yeah it just looks like this and I would definitely recommend picking this up because it does get all the nail polish off and I know it looks like I haven't used a bunch of this because I just got it so the next thing we're moving off of like face um, and stuff like that and I'm gonna move on hairs and this is one of my favorite hairdos I've been loving for the month of February and actually like I haven't um, used it as much is because I just got this plugged in it's, it's humongous the thing is like bigger than me um, and it says one it's a one inch I will feature this I still have a haul video to do I'm so sorry I was gonna do a haul video like a haul video and a hair tutorial on how I get these curls um, either like Monday and Tuesday but I didn't get to because I've been behind on wow I've been behind on school and so I've been trying to catch up and it was just it was getting too late and I was just like nah I'm not gonna do this but I had to do this video so expect the weekends coming up soon so expect sometime this week to be doing a hair tutorial on these curly this curly hair and a haul but I've been definitely loving this. This was at Sally's Beauty Supply Store, and I have the receipt somewhere to tell you guys how much this was. I'm trying to find what I did with it. I don't know what I did with it. Give me one second, you guys. I'll be right back. I'm just going to go check, like, in my room. because if I do find it, which would be a miracle, but if I do find it, um, I will let you guys know in the haul that I do with this. But it's just the brand plugged in, and it's pink, and it's black, and it's just, it does awesome with my hair. So, since I got it like a few days ago, I've been definitely curling my hair with it, and it just gives off the perfect amount of curls. So this is my February favorite curl, and the curls look a little bit crazy tonight. Um like some are just like sticking out of my head but yeah I did have it down but since I was doing this video I feel like I needed all the hair out of my faces no not faces because I only have one face um but I guess I guess I'll leave it down I don't know I hate my bangs you guys I hate them so much they drive me insane they just never work with me but um I guess I'll leave my hair out just some of the pieces here bug me. Tomorrow's hair, I will probably do a video tomorrow, but tomorrow's, um, whatever video I do tomorrow, my curls will be much better because they'll be brushed out. I just like to leave them brushed out for day two type of hair. So, um, the curly hair is something that I've been loving, um, this February, month of February. The next thing is shoes. I am definitely, I love my shoes. That's... One thing I love to like splurge on and stuff like that is shoes, so I definitely would consider calling myself a shoeaholic. Like, I could go to one of those like um, department stores and just spend hours trying on shoes and fantasizing with them and like like what outfits I could wear with them and stuff like that. So um, these shoes, I don't remember. I don't think. No, I got them like end of January, like right after I think my no. I got them February 13th. A little weird how I remember that, but I got them February 13th. So, I welcome to you these bad boys. And they look like this. They're gold, and they're really comfortable. They slip on, and they're just, oh my gosh, I love them. They have a little bit of gold shimmer on there. I think that is just, I don't know, they're just really cute, really comfortable. Again, the only thing I don't like is the brand. Um... I've already explained this in multiple videos that I've had, but yeah, the brand is the only thing I don't like about them, which kind of stings because it's like everywhere, it's right here, it's right here, there's a tag right there, and then it's right there, but um, yeah, I love these shoes a lot. The next shoes that I've been loving, um, I've only been able to wear these like twice maybe in February because the weather's been really weird. It's been like the 20s, it's been like in the 20s, no, no. 
What am I talking about? I looked down and I saw that my video is almost at 20 minutes and I somehow connected that with the weather and no, <laughs> the weather has been like in the 70s and today I was able to wear flip flops, capris and a t-shirt and that's crazy where we live. Um, so these are what the shoes look like. I have featured these in this in videos before but these are, I don't know, these are just my favorite shoes. I think they've got a little bit of a wedge, they've got a zipper, they've got um, this really pretty like detailing with a bow and it's in the brand Madison and they're just comfy like that and I think I'm like two categories left. One is music and one is food. I will save the best for last and you betcha that's food. Oh by the way, these nails are like really cheap and they break off easily. My thumb one just broke off. Um, yeah. That stinks. See, that's what it looks like. It looks kind of creepy, like, oh my gosh, I just broke off my fingernail. But, um, yeah, that's what it looks like. And it was supposed to go there, but it broke. So I'm just going to, you know, rock that f uh, fingerless, fingernailless thumb. Something like that. So, oh, I forgot. Movie cate movies category, I've watched two new movies in the month of February that I love so much. I recommend to you guys to go watch them. Um, one is The Vow. I honestly feel so grateful to be able to have gone and seen that movie. And the reason why I say that is because when movies, like, come out in the movie theater, I never really am able to go see it just because it the movie theater is ridiculous amount of money that costs. And I like to watch my movies at home. Um, so when The Vow came out, I was like, oh my gosh, I have to go see that movie. Um, lucky enough, when we were in our, on our vacation, my Aunt Shelly, she came over and she was like, you know, let's go watch a movie, which one do you want to see? And so we agreed on The Vow, and that was, that was, that was a really cute movie. Um, I think I featured, I think I talked about this in one movie, but if you guys know that one quote where it goes like, if you really love someone, um, and like, it, um, hold on, I've got it right here on my phone because I don't know why, but um, anyways, I will talk about that in one second once I find the quote, but the next movie that we saw was this past Sunday, and we went to go see Joyful Noise. Oh my goodness, you guys, I can't express how much I love that movie now. I want to go see it again, and the reason why we had to go see that was, well, my mom saw it in January with one of her friends. And she, like, told us, you know, we got to go see this sometime. And they have a $1.99 movies at one of the movie theaters by our house. Um, so we were able to go and see that. Oh, my gosh. It was awesome. There was a bunch of, like, music. It was had, like, a little bit of, like, romance in it. It had comedy. It had drama. It was, like, just a whole package deal of a movie to go watch. This is actually the soundtrack of it. And this has to go with, like, my music and category, but, um, this is just some of the actors. It was Kiki Palmer, um, Dolly Parton, Queen Latifah, and whatever that guy's name is. But it just looks like this joyful noise. I go see that movie. It's, it's an awesome movie. I can't even just describe how awesome it is. I want to definitely see it again when it comes out in the movies. Alright. So, I found the quote that I was talking about. It said, if you love something let it go if it comes back to you it's yours forever if it doesn't then it was never meant to be that's basically what the whole movie the vow was about um well not the whole movie but it was basically set on that where you know um i'm not going to give it away but you'll definitely learn that quote if you don't know what that means watch the vow and it will definitely like you know basically describe that. So, um, I thought that was really cool because at the end of the movie I was thinking about it and I was like, oh wow, that's, that's really neat how that worked out. So, The Vow is definitely awesome and it has Rachel McAdams and Channing Tatum, which, yeah, awesome. Totally. Like, just, you should go check that out. So, uh, The Vow and Joyful Noise were two of my favorite movies that I was able to watch in the month of February. I do want to see Jack and Jill, um, which has Adam Sandler in it. The commercials for that look so funny, so hopefully we can go see that again, and I'll let you guys know. Um, next, moving two more categories, actually. Music. Um, songs that I've been loving for... I've been loving Pandora. Um, and the playlist, if you guys are... Any of you guys are wondering, I listen to country music because... 
I love my country music. Um, I don't know if you guys know, but I've been listening to country music, Taylor Swift, of course, and then Today's Hits, which, Today's Hits, actually, I was expecting, like, some pop, some of the, like, the Adele and Katy Perry and all those kind, but they kind of were really, really weird bands that I was, like, unfamiliar with. Um, so I listened to Katy Perry and stuff like that. Um, but this Joyful Noise soundtrack, I love it so much. We actually listened to it. Last night, excuse me, um, one of the songs on there is Man in the Mirror by Michael Jackson. Oh, I love that song. I could listen to it, like, over and over again. Um, there's also, um, I don't remember, but, um, yeah, this is, that's one of them. Also, some songs I've been loving were Jason, no, not Jason, Gavin DeGraw's Not Over You, um, Jason Derulio, however you say that name, It Girl, um, just some of those songs. I don't know, I love music, so I feel like having to choose a favorites is really hard for that category. Last, but certainly not least, and probably my one of my favorite videos ever, no, videos, what am I talking about? Uh, categories is food, and I love me some food, and it's really hard to just like, um, like just to just pick like three maybe three different types of foods so the first one and lately like over the past few days I've kind of been loving these and it's really really weird because I don't really like them I never really used to like them that much and it's Pringles um I don't know what it is about this but I just I love them they look like this I'm sure you guys know them um they just like that the next thing is the Chewy Chocolate Chip Granola Bar in the Quaker brand. And I have my, like, little daily routine of how, like, I eat for, like, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And I've done so many, like, eating routines that I won't, like, mention. Um, so the next thing is this Canada for drinks. Um, Canada, I'm sorry, I blanked out. It's Canada Dry. And... I go back and forth from liking this to like completely forgetting about it, but the reason why I like this again is when I got sick last week, I lived off of like chicken noodle soup in Canada Dry for about three days, and I kind of became obsessed with Canada Dry now. I maybe go through like one a day. Um, the reason why I love this is because it actually has real ginger in it, so definitely get Canada Dry, the kind that has real ginger in it, ginger in it that's like kind of good for you. So yeah, definitely Canada Dry. I hate the Verners and the other kind, but that, that, definitely. Um, and the next foods that I've been loving, ice cream, just vanilla ice cream with chocolate syrup. Again, I have my like little food routine. That's always one of my favorites, so I'm not going to actually like, like show it in a video um, because I eat it every like single night for bed because I do have a sweet tooth. Um, so I'm going to kind of hurry this ending up because it's getting this video is getting really really long but let me just get a few more things um food things and then i will be done with this video so one second Alright, so I have to really hurry on this because I'm taking cold foods out of where they belong in the fridge and that's not, you know, can't leave them out for long once you get them out. But, um, I, before I get into these to show you guys, I've been loving oranges, anything orangey this month. I've been loving regular oranges where you just peel them, um, orange juice, I drink that every day for breakfast. Um, another thing that I haven't showed you guys that's in here is what you might call those. I don't remember. But, okay, so for lunch now, I finally figured out what I love for lunch. And what I do is I have my wheat, my white um, bread, and then I take mayonnaise, and I take mustard, and then I pair this Hillshire Farm Go Meat, yeah, a smoked ham, ultra thin, and it just looks like this. It's in there. 
Um, this is, oh my gosh, it tastes so amazing. I have this with my Munster cheese, and I'm good to go. It's awesome. Um, Linder's Plain Bagels, they're... I eat those every day for breakfast as well. Um, I love those, but I just didn't feel like sponsoring, or not sponsoring, I'm not sponsored, putting this in a video. The next thing is Yo Play yogurt. I love yogurt, but there's only one kind of yogurt I like, and that's vanilla, because I hate all those chunky things in my yogurt. I just, I feel like it should be smooth as butter. Um, so I have this for breakfast as well, and it's Yo Play Original, 99% fat-free, the French vanilla kind. I only get the red kind, not the blue kind, because... It's just, it's better like that and the French vanilla kind. Um, the next thing is mandarin oranges. I love these little guys. They're just, oh, they're so good. Uh, Mott's applesauce strawberry. I've never really, I love applesauce and I love apples, but I've never really finished like a whole thing of applesauce like this because it, it was just okay, but I just felt like I was just eating it just because. But this I actually love and I actually eat the whole thing and I'm like, wow, that's awesome. And, um... I feel kind of embarrassed to say, but my next thing is about strawberries. Wait, no. Oh, never mind. So, yeah, this is applesauce and the strawberry kind. The last final thing I think of this video is strawberries. I've just been loving them because they're really, really tasty. And I will proceed to just... Um... Okay. So, I have to go now. And, um, let me just throw this in the fridge real quickly, and I'll come back to you guys. Alright, so I am back. Um, I am really sorry. This video was, like, really long. Um... I am, I don't know what I do, maybe I just talk too much and maybe I take too many bunny trails, but I apologize if you guys hate long videos, um, and this was a, a really long video, I guess, but I was super duper excited to film this because it's like my February favorites and I just get so excited at the end of the year, end of the year, end of the month to film these things, and it was on a leap day, so I was really, really excited to film this really, really specially, um, I hope you guys enjoyed my whole list of February favorites. Um, it was really fun to put together, and I think I will go talk to you guys later. Stay tuned for some videos. The weekend's coming up, and blah, 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 blah. I'm going to go now before I start talking about something else that doesn't need to be talked about. Um, so I'm going to say, yeah. So then I'm going to go, and I will talk to you guys later. Um, leave me a video response. I would love to see... Um, all of you guys' is February favorites, and that would be great. So, I hope you guys have a great whenever it is, and I'll talk to you later. Alright, bye guys.